Scorch Gorge is one of the new levels in Splatoon 3 that we've seen a good bit of footage and images from. We can practically discern the entire level. You can see screenshots and gameplay all on screen right here, but you can think of this somewhat like a Salmon Run and Salt Spray Rig baby, I guess, but it's, a, it's like a desert wasteland, not out at sea. The center of the level has a climbable platform that also has these walkways to some other platforms, but notice that they're graded. So whenever you see grates for the bridges or any sort of path, if you're brand new to Splatoon at least, just know you can ink through them and hit the players or ink the turf below. This high ground can be a nice advantage both early on because you can be simultaneously inking up top and down below through the grate, but also in the later stages of matches just as well since you can rain down on unsuspecting ink and octolings. One thing to note about Scorch Gorge is that there's no sponges or ink rails, not really hazards and stuff, so while this stage isn't completely final destination or anything, it is kind of battlefield. There's some raised platform areas we can talk about with a bit of very elevation, but this right here, this respawn footage, looks like one of the best places for us to start, especially when coupled with this still image here. Basically, both teams begin in this area, we should say, just in case anyone's new, each on opposite ends of the map, obviously, and it's all close to a pole that has this fish head skull on top, and that's again for both sides, so you'll know you're near the enemy base or your own base with those markers right now. You can see the middle here, it's pretty big overall, but those graded platforms lead to the dome-like structures onto other poles on the map. Splat experts know this, but some of the beginner crowd won't know, that there are certain surfaces that can't be inked, and they usually look like these walls here, the, the metal. So it seems once you're down in this sort of entire middle area, I guess, your paths to getting back up into either side as you head back towards the team's bases will just be slightly limited. I don't think it's anything extreme, we're just saying that you can't swim directly back up this wall right here, for example. That's gonna make those graded walkways and the poles with domes a focal point for anyone traveling from the middle area. Keep in mind, you can super jump back and all that, but aside from that point. The structure right in the middle will allow for inking on the wall, just so you can swim all the way up. After the starting and respawn landing spot, there's also a path downward to get to, I guess, a bottom level of Scorch Gorge. That will take you up into the central area. Keep in mind, the center area, not atop the platform structure in the very middle, but we're talking the area around that. This center area is all a similar or just like in-line height with your base or spawn area. Any of the really lower down areas of this level really are smaller areas to ink, and they seem fewer and far between, pretty much just marked here on this screenshot. Actually here, this might help. We can show two different perspectives that can label each of the areas roughly because this isn't directly overhead bird's eye. So I think this one is mostly self-explanatory, but it's in this next one that we can see basically that the center area has this red line to show where it encompasses at least on that planar level. But you could almost say there's like an upper, middle, and lower of the central area itself. Sorry if that's complicated. I just mean to say the area directly to the right of the text that says center area here is a bit higher, and you can't always ink up to it with those metal looking walls. But then there's also the structure smack dab in the middle with the graded walkways going to either side, and that's an even higher up level or plane of playing. So overall, Scorch Gorge, in my opinion, it looks fun, but it'll probably be more of a base level Splatoon game in Turf War and potentially otherwise, I guess. I mean to say basically that it's pretty wide open. It's not like a long thin level, for example. It has a good three or four different main height levels. But really, the higher ground and lower ground are what'll probably create differing dynamics on this map more than anything else. Like I mentioned earlier, there's no particular hazards or, or extras, I suppose we could say, to this map. Use the graded pathways in the ways that I discussed before, ink the lower parts, sure, but they look smaller generally, so just basically use the entire center areas up and down as your battlefield and your stronghold, and just hold it, hold it, hold it. Might be a bit of a big brawl with that wide open, squarish center area space. Anyway, check back here when the demo launches for tutorial and more. Join our Discord for Splatoon 3 matchmaking and other stuff, and thanks for viewing.